Hey everyone, and welcome to my money making guide on RuneScape. There are a few methods I won't be including in this video. The first one is bosses, and that's just because I don't have time to go through that, but I think that's probably the best way of making money, so if you're interested in those, just click on the link to the PVM guide series of mine. Next is merchanting and flipping, that's because I'm not very good at it. They're just collecting because, let's be honest, no one ever got a 100 mil bank from collecting swamp toads. And finally, obvious methods like killing dragons and stuff because we all know about that. And I'm assuming that if you're here, it's because you didn't want to go and kill dragons. But if you're interested, you can click the link to the My Frost Dragon Guide, which is about 2 mil an hour. So the first part of my money making guide will be on regular routines you can do through the game. The first one is a little interesting, it's Green Man's Ale Mature, and proper power I can't really say, but it requires 29 cooking, 2 buckets of water, 2 barley malts, 4 clean hairlanders, and ale yeast, which can be bought in Caldegrim or Port Fezmatis at the breweries, and you have to wait 2 to 5 days for it to finish, and it may not mature, so it may just be normal Green Man's Ale, but if it does mature, then you make a lot of money, because each glass is worth 50 to 60k. The next method would be herb running, and you can do this once every 75 minutes. You need the respective farming level for your respective seeds, and you also need super compost and the seeds. Now, each farming run can be done in 5 minutes or less, and the locations are on the screen. By the way, for Trollheim, you'll need to have done my arm's big adventure. Using Toad Flax, which is my personal herb of choice, and Juju farming potions, which really help because they, add, uh, they give a chance of having two herbs every time you pick. I can get approximately 1.2 a mil an hour if I go by the 5 minute rate. Now I'm going to be showing you broad bolts, and these aren't really that great money, but the reason why I mention them is because they're a good way to make a little money while fletching and get somewhat fast experience. You need 300 slayer points to unlock how the ability of how to, how to actually fletch them, and you can buy... 3,000 bolts, unfinished bolts from the Slayer Master each day. All Slayer Masters are universal, so you can't go between them. I just thought it was nice fletching XP, so that's why I showed it. Alternative routines to do would be Potion Flasks, which require 80 mining and 89 crafting, and Criminal Bolts, which require 85 woodcutting and 93 fletching. The reason why I don't put them in is because not a lot of people have those stats, and all those people already know that they can do that. Alright, next is low level methods for money making. The first one I'll be showing you is actually the only free-to-play method in the guide, so I'm sorry to all those F2 peers. This is the Water Talisman from the Great Orb Project. You'll need 50 rune crafting, and a free-to-play player can get up to 450k an hour, although a member can get a little bit more. Basically, you just play Great Orb Project in a Great Orb Project-themed world, and hopefully your team wins. If you're... well, the cash rate is assuming your team wins each time, so it may not be possible. You don't really have to be good at it, to be honest, just the basic things you need to know is that the attractor attracts your orbs, your color orbs, so if you're a yellow team you attract yellow orbs, and you just try to track them over to the altar to score points. And also there are 6 rounds each at different altars, if you're free to play, 8 rounds if you're a member, and you can get, if you're free to play, up to, I believe, is it 750 around, 750 tokens around, and each water talisman is 50 tokens. It may be 650, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, that's assuming you win, so hopefully you'll win. And I'll just quickly show you me getting, buying the actual water talismans. Not really much to say, they're worth a nice bit of GP. And this next method is probably one of the best ways to get money in the game, especially for low levels. And it's easy clue farming, you can get probably 2 mil plus an hour on average. It requires 15 thieving, and you just want to pickpocket female ham members who are in the ham base, which is in the trapdoor west of Lumbridge in the forest. It's not very easy to miss, just look on your world map. Once you're in, just pickpocket the female ham members over and over and over. They get clues really frequently, and you don't always get 2 mil an hour. Like, there's some hours where you're going to get 50k. You might get 50k for even 2 hours or 3 hours straight, but then in later hours, you're going to get something like 5 mil. If you get a Zamorak page, you can even get hours where you get 10 mil or 15 mil or you get 5 mil t 3 hours in a row because there are like a lot of potential rewards you can get from easy clue scrolls and they're really underrated. So I think that yeah, you should definitely give this method a try. Next is medium level methods. 
the very first medium med medium level method would be Slayer. I can't really give you an accurate profit per hour because it depends on your task. And it requires decent combat and Slayer level so you can get decent tasks for good money. And a lot of people say these days that Slayer doesn't make you a lot of money anymore. And it's true that it doesn't make you as much money. But I still think that's a complete lie. Because from 80 to 94 Slayer... I've made over 160 mil, and that's barely halfway from 80 to 99. So from 80 to 99, I could get somewhere like 320 mil, and that's just, that's, I, I don't view that as Slayer being dead money. Although, it was a lot nicer when whips were 4 mil, but it still makes you a good amount of money, and you should try it out if you're looking to level your combat stats. Next up, Barrows. This is another method that some people will think is kind of dead money, but once again, I'll have to disagree because... The Barrows items are still actually quite valuable, and you get and now that things like Dragon's Medallion and Better Weaponry are out, you can actually get a lot more chests per hour, which makes it, even though the, the items are worth a little less than they were before, you can get them a lot faster. And so I definitely recommend doing Barrows too. And it's really helpful if you've done Ritual of the Majorat, and branches of darkmire for the seventh brother and the dragon's medallion respectively which teleports you right to the barrows but also it's nice to have the mauritania hard tasks done because it means that your prayer drain is halved in the barrows because normally it drains pretty fast so that's halved so that lets you pray more and kill faster also it doubles the rune rewards in the chest so from the runes alone you can make about one mil an hour and Factoring in Barrow's items, that's probably 1.5 mil an hour. Now for some high level methods. The very first high level method I'll be showing you is Ganodermic Beasts, which are 2 mil plus an hour because of the high price of Ganodermic Flakes and the seeds that they drop. They require 95 Slayer and High Magic, and you should use a Cannon, Neem Oil, and a Polypore Staff. These aren't really... I don't really like Ganodermic Beasts, I don't really like the Polypore Dungeon in general. But it is good money, so I can't deny that. By the way, if you're noticing I'm not firing my cannon, that's just because I'm just showing you this as a sample. I don't really see the point in wasting my money on cannonballs so that I can just fire the cannon for maybe three minutes. Because I actually don't have the Slayer level for these. I have 94, but I knew that these were good money, and I've wild pied here before, so I just thought I'd rat wild pie again to show you guys this method. It's pretty nice, and if you have the Slayer level which not many people do, it's good money. And the next method I'll be showing is the Fight Kiln. If you have a Steel Titan and Storm of Armadale, then you can get 6 mil an hour or more, depending on your cost on supplies, because you can do the Fight Kiln in one hour. If you're just doing normal, like I am, like a pot, by the way, I'm, I'm obviously not bringing gear to stay, I just want to show you, so I'm not actually bringing real gear. If you want to see a guide on everything, click the screen, but yeah, as I was saying, Using normal stuff like Polypore Staff, Rapier, things like that, No Titan, Beast of Burden, you can get 4.5 mil an hour. And by the way, my guide on the fight kiln is for people without Steel Titan and Storm of Armadale, because if you can afford a Steel Titan 99 summoning and Armadale runes, I'm assuming you don't really need this guide. So yeah, it's very good money even if you don't have those high requirements. And final method of the day would be selling floors, which can get you 6 mil plus an hour. You'll need high dungeon airing as at 100 plus, and you must be a very good keyer. Now, this is a method I despise, because I really think that leeches and floor sellers are ruining dungeon airing, and I really have no respect for them, so if you do this, I don't really have much respect for you. But I had to mention this, because this is the best way to make consistent money in the game, and so I'd be doing the money-making guide a disservice to not mention it. And finally, to end this, a couple other methods that are worth mentioning. One, Sacred Oil. This is inconsistent, though. Two, Fire Rune Crafting for free-to-play. Three, run pump, Rum Pumped Crabs for Brackish Blades. And four, Armored Runes, but you'll need 99 Rune Crafting to turn a profit. So, those are just alternative methods. And otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this guide, and see you all later.